you like control decks, countering all of your opponent's spells, coming back from one life to win crazy games, well, boy, do I have a deck for you. All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to the Monday video here on Cool Stuff Inc. Dad Comp, you're watching this, the Pro Tour is over. And uh, of course, I'm recording this a week in advance because I'm leaving for the Pro Tour uh, for what for me will be Monday of last week. I'll be in Minneapolis all week and of course playing in the Pro Tour. Uh, then I'm playing it, of course, working with Team CFB. I've been very, very busy content-wise and I haven't been able to practice too much. But I did play this deck at the, uh, the 10K on Sunday of the RC a few weeks ago. Uh, Jeff Pike had played this to a Pro Tour slot in the RC itself. And I sat next to him one of the rounds when I was playing my domain deck, and I was like, ooh, that deck looks sweet. So I uh, copied it, played it with 10k. Uh, I went like 2-2, I didn't do that well, but like I, I played kind of bad also. But I really, really liked the deck a lot. And um, this is a deck I'm considering for the Pro Tour. I need to work on it a little more. But uh, this is a Jess Guy control deck in standard, just like a pure control deck. Uh, you know, obviously we're playing Fable, and we're playing uh, Bank Pressure, because they're both just really, really good cards. But for the most part, this is just like... Counter your spells, end step play a memory deluge, untap on turn 10 and play a win condition, wrath your stuff, kind of control. We're playing, get cancel and wrath of God here, right? What, what more could you possibly want? And this deck lines up pretty well against the format. Um, the the kind of removal spell controly cards, like, you know, Abrade and Strangle and the Wrath of Gods and stuff are going against creature decks. And then the counter spells are going against the big decks, right? So Make Appear, Negate, Spell Pierce are really good against the... Um, the deck's trying to go big with a Traxa or a Tali or stuff like that. So it kind of handles both sides of the field pretty well. Also very good against the Mono White Control deck, uh, which is just like this deck, but all the cards are clunky and doesn't have counter spells. Uh, so uh, pretty awesome, honestly. And the deck is also perfect with my, my play style. I freaking love control decks like this. And of course, you're still playing Fable, which is obviously a really, really good card. Uh, and, uh, you know, Wandering Emperor, really good cards. Just a good deck. So that's the deck list. I don't really have a great update for it, honestly, aside from just Pike's list. I'm playing the list, list, uh, list, uh, list in totality. Uh, Jeff was a Northeast grinder, and I know Jeff for a long time from the, you know, playing against him many, many times in PTQs and Grand Prix and stuff. So that's the deck. Let's get right to the games. But first, we word from our sponsor, CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. On the play. Uh, yeah, sure. Cute. Rule spell, fable. Couldn't ask for more, right? We'll see Chrome Coast, perfect mana. Fable is obviously the best card in the format. I don't think it's really debatable at this point. Uh, but it is also, it's a really good card to control decks, honestly, because it's a card that, uh, you know, you play in turn one, it's a casualty of, your, of kill spells sometimes, but it's a thing they have to kill. And if it ever, you're on tap with it, the mana it generates every turn makes it really easy to deploy threats while also uh, leaving mana up for things, which is great too. And then it just kind of sits there and turns it into this really, really hard to beat uh, engine, which is awesome too. Card's just like, obviously really, really good. I don't need to explain why, why Fable is so good, but uh, it, is, it is very good in this deck. And then the post-board games, when they board up some of their kill spells, you just still have these Fables in your deck too, which is great. So, uh, Deserted Beach, sure. They have some now pass. Probably playing um, a Reanimator deck, I would assume. We'll play Fable. It'll probably die, but whatever. Just fix our, uh, fix our hand, discard some lands, find some spells. It does open up you to the kill spell. Like, like cut down would normally be bad against a control deck in game one, but... It was just too good, too good not to play, so. They're going to play Bitter Reunion. So yeah, here we go. Discarding an Atraxa. Drawing two cards. And, uh, thankfully we have this, uh, thankfully we have this Fable here to fix our hand up a little bit, because our hand is kind of ugly. And discard two islands and draw two more lands. All right, not ideal, honestly, but, uh, we'll say go. Fable Bus Sanctuary Warden's also unbelievable. Uh, you make a copy of the Warden, River Counter, draw a card, make a token, attack with it, River Counter, draw a card, make a token, and then it dies, which is incredible, so. Shieldred the Apocalypse. Okay, so the annoying thing here is that we need to, like, at least rep a counter spell. Um, so the return of tracks things get ugly, obviously. We need to deal with this, too. Alright, we're gonna go to war it, I guess. It's not exciting, but. Let me get out. Uh, just needs to be done. 
What's happened, Draw Anticipate? Alright, well now we're online for a, uh, a counter spell. Unfortunately, our mana is a bit constrained. Also makes it, I mean, we kind of like, now we're to populate, it's a lot worse too. We're gonna sit, 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 uh, sit on this shoulder for a while, honestly. But, this is obviously their second best thing, because the first best thing is to cast the Saga and return the thing. They're gonna Elder Dragon War, interesting. This is gonna kill my Reflection. Uh, that's fine, honestly. They get a 4-4, kills the Reflection, pretty good. Fixes their hand, too. We can't really afford to counter this, I think, with the, uh, attracts the Looming, so... We could counter it and just, like, try and, you know, make it look, 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 look like we don't have a counter, but... Right, let's play this. I think it'll out looks next turn, too. Yeah, this is a little rough, honestly. Our hand's a little awkward. Um, they get to really dig deep for the Saga now. Discarding Go for the Throat and Swamp. Wow. So they must have two of them. We're, we should go for it. Alright, so we'll Cruelty the first one. Or we dissipate the first Cruelty. Untap. And draw the Gate. Alright. Uh, I mean, I would love to play something else and then play the Gate also, but can't do that right now, so we'll just say go. They might just jam again. Fortunately, Braid looking pretty bad here. A lot of big threats. Here's Shieldred. Sure. I mean, now we're actually in, like, really good shape. So now we get to wrath away both of these and leave the gate up for the next, uh... The next Saga. Alright. Does stink a little bit to be in a spot where, like, if they do ever resolve this, uh... Cool Deep Gex, you probably can't win, but... Here's your land, here's your wrath. Say goodbye. And they got four cards in hand. And you're down one cruelty down. And two cruelties down. That's how you want it to line up for sure. They have a third cruelty. We're probably in trouble, but wandering ever. It's just your sanctuary reward. We're just gonna go in here. We're gonna leave up the uh Blue-red. Play this. Move a counter. Draw a card. Draw a deluge. Alright. Shield you down. They have a third cruelty, and then we're in trouble. Okay. Now you have deluge also, which is pretty nice. They crack the blood. Discard a land. That's a good sign. They're also pretty far from casting attracts it, too. They could have, could have a tally also, but... All right, here we go. Another deluge. Wow, cool. So we're gonna jam. Um, are we going to remove a counter? Is the question. I think the answer is no. I should have made phase memory deluge and try to draw land. Um, I don't know. Maybe not actually. Because like they've already discarded a go for the throat. I was gonna draw a card. If they have to go for the throat, whatever, honestly. Like, another Emperor, sure. Take five. Cool. And then, I mean, I want a Deluge and make a land drop. It's Deluge main phase. I probably should have done this before I attacked, honestly, but. Looking for land counter spell here, obviously. We find a spell pierce that is not. I mean, it actually is live and of a land. Uh, to populate. Planes, flame bus bolts. All right, let's take spell pierce and uh, and planes. Uh, spell pierce is obviously not ideal here, but it could defend if they don't, if they don't have a land, uh, because they're inclined to want to hold their lands for like looty effects. So spell pierce might be live, and then we have end step deluge. We also have emperor, but a counter on this, so we can remove it too, which is kind of cool. Cut down a token. Sure, that's a thing you can do. And as long as I don't have it this turn, we get to deluge again. Uh, and we should find the counter spell at that point, so. Sweet. Cool game. So, I guess these big attraction decks, as long as you can keep that cruelty off, you know. They're gonna have the rest of this post board. We have a bunch more counter spells post board, which is great. So we're gonna bring destroy evil. Uh farewell is also pretty interesting here. Uh, stroke stroke negate. See healing is somewhat interesting too, honestly. 
then stone brain's kind of cool the problem is like these decks before uh this deck was is from pre uh pre march the machine when the random decks were only attraxa decks now they also have a tali and if you can only if you can brain the Atraxas and like take that out the element out of their deck it's pretty good also, i'm still bringing it in i guess but we're gonna cut flame best bless bolts we're gonna cut uh Honestly, probably the, the depopulates. Bankbuster fires a braid, and they're probably playing some Bankbusters. You have double destroy evil now to deal with the shielders and stuff. Bankbuster fires a braid. Dissipate wandering mind. You can shave the wandering mind. And then shave maybe the strangle. I'm not sure what Stonebrain. We're, we're gonna test it out and see how it goes. And then these farewells. Let's just shave a farewell, honestly. It like hits a graveyard, but like it's just so expensive and you just can't really afford to it is cool because you can like farewell, wrath them, and exile the graveyard, so they can't just cruelty you. But like they can just cast cruelty and do chapter one, which is good against us, and then you can also just, you know, cast one of their big things too. So we're gonna mulligan here. Obviously, it's one lander. Sure. We bust in. Um. We definitely get to rest here. Take our bank buster. They kind of suck. Yeah, it's fine. Destroy evil's the narrowest card, so. The rest is our enemy here for sure. Yep. It's a little, uh, mull, little, little mull to five. No problem, I guess. Oh. Show my deck. This game might not go great for us. Here's Bitter Reunion. Discarding a Atraxa. Alright, they're on their uh they're on their game. We draw spell pierce, that's pretty good. Good answer to uh sagas, obviously. Or this. Works for me too. Big spell pierce fan here. I mean, our hand's not great, but. They were relying on that to be able to fix their hand. Ugh. All right, sure. So, they are light on lance, but they're gonna fix their hand next turn, which just kind of stinks. Dale is a good draw. Um, that allows us to at least try, try to get some uh, some cards going here and figure out what we need to do. Fable discards, Dragon War, and actually letting up, letting go for the throat. Interesting. And they're gonna play land. And they're gonna play a Blood Tithe Harvester. Alright. Okay. Um, Buster and Deluge. And land. I think I want another Deluge. Problem is we just don't have enough mana to like really threaten here. Also, if I play Bankbuster, they're probably, probably they're more inclined to jam because they know that Bankbuster gets worse every turn. Whereas Deluge is more hidden. I'm gonna do Deluge, and I think land. I think the Warden is not that important. I guess I did I did bottom on the other Warden too. I'm sure sure you will Draw a stroke. Awesome, fantastic. So there's your insurance policy. We needed that pretty bad. They have three spells in hand. They're gonna blood. Goodbye. There you go. So there's a tally. Yeah. So I think the stone brain is now is now outdated uh, technology thanks to the uh, the uh, a tally being part of the equation. Also, a tally and Atraxa, two ridiculous seven mana things to reanimate. Like arguably two of the best fatties ever printed. Honestly, like just here's land five. They also have Reflection plus Harvester, which is annoying. Gotta deal with that too eventually. But, you know, part of playing a troll deck is just like, alright, here's a bunch of problems. You gotta deal with them. You gotta solve them. I'd really prefer if I didn't, get, didn't go for it here, because I want to play on a Cast on Deluge. Attack for three. No, no attacks even either. Scared of the Emperor, huh? There's Deluge again. And there's a Destroy Evil and then a Gate. Uh, I also kind of want to land, but 
Story of a kills the reflection, which is very important. And I have two counter spells. I gotta do this. You gotta be able to be rest also, so. Alright, so let's just uh let's just destroy this. Don't like getting too far by Fable, but it's pretty hard to avoid it, honestly. So and then we'll just say go. We've got Emperor and double counter spell up. Take three. Get these deluders looming too. Oh, it's a good feeling. Here's the emperor. Just gonna exile, I think. Run away. Be safer. This might die. Whatever. Volcanic spite. That's kind of cool. A little new tech. So very happy we exiled here. Take her in the card. You get some life. Good. Now we just have double Dalish flashback and double counter spell. Couldn't really ask for more, honestly. And now they have to jam as I have that Dalish, so. Croxa and Kuneros. This is another new piece of technology. Uh, when ETBs exile five, you can cast a card from the graveyards. Obviously, obviously, this can't resolve. So we're going to have to stroke this and we can't Dalish. Mm -hmm. Good. And uh draw land, sure, so go. I mean they're they're they should they should be in jam town right now. They should be jamming every turn. Because every turn that they don't jam, I get the deluge, so and they're jamming. Alright, well that one's gonna resolve, unfortunately. Um So they get a free card from my deck and a free card from their deck, and their the range here is extremely high. Their free card could be a Traxa or it could be go for the throat. So yeah, here it is. <sighs> Looks like they get a fable, and I didn't see the one that was for me. Fable and a spell pierce. All right, so it was not good, but it could have been a lot worse, obviously. Here's fable. All right, flashback a deluge. I could have like hit a spell pierce for this, whatever. Uh, negate and stroke. The problem is if we have no current answer to the Atali. Um, uh, but we'll tell the final one, I guess. So, we want to probably kill this goblin with a strangle, and then take a stroke. I guess fires can kill the goblin too, right? We can even like kick a fires and draw a card. I don't need that. Just take the gate and stroke. All right, then we untap and draw a land. Awesome. So let's kick fires and kill this goblin. Drop my spear. Alright, so this thing flips for nine mana. They only have seven. It's not too bad. We should play a land as they go. We take a hit from this, no problem. They can discard some stuff, but now we're like, we're rolled up now. She need to not die to this. Duress. Uh, we'll negate that. Just conceal information. They don't need to know how good our, how good our hand is. Also, we have a stroke we want to protect as well, so. Play a six drop. Play something. Play cruelty. Play card. I can. I can. I can make, make spear. I'd be so happy. Make this overworked magic player happy. They're thinking about it. Of course, you can't be able to copy the tally. So cruelty of Gix. Oh yeah, get off my plane. Get out of here. God, I love playing shitty control decks. Oh yeah, it makes me feel alive. They got nothing. We draw land. All right, so play land, say go. Now we're in the uh, the point of the game where we just gotta we just gotta find a way to deal with this dinosaur and lock this thing up. Another memory deluge. Yeah, like a fair finding that farewell would be great. We're gonna dig. We're gonna dig really deep here too. We get to dig seven cards deep. Take seven. All right. This don't make you feel alive. I don't know what will dig through time. And we get the Wandering Emperor, Dissipate, another Deluge. So we're just going to take the Emperor, which we can cast, and then the the, uh, the Dissipate, I think. I'm sorry, Deluge. I want to keep Deluging. So let's get Emperor, Deluge. Oh, I cannot cast Emperor. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't. I'm bad at math. Um, reflection. All right. 
I'm just gonna play... I'm just gonna Emperor now, in case they, like, decide to be cheeky and, like, not attack or something. Whatever, it's now. They can attack it. I guess they can, they can attack it this way. I think that's wrong, actually, because they can attack it. I don't know, whatever. I think it's fine. Problem solved for now. That's the important thing. Um, we get the Deluge, and we also have two counter spells up. A Buster. Buster's pretty good. We gotta counter that, I think. Buster's worth a lot of cards. They have a lot of the rest of their deck, too, so... Yeah, I think I, we, we, we should, we should, we should, this was a mistake. We should not have let them attack this. I mean, four mana, gain four life, exile the seven, seven's not bad. But, how about another Deluge? Hmm? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Give me another Deluge. An Emperor and a land? That's not ideal, but sure. Land helps the flashback, obviously. We draw on a Braid. Alright, um... Five, six, seven. I want to be able to flash back Deluge in response to a spell, but like duress me or something like that. So we're not gonna Emperor here. I'm just gonna say go. We can upgrade it if they cast a spell that we need to like. That they, they're gonna copy. It's really bad for us. Uh, I think going to five is fine. Let's see. Here. Five, six, seven for Deluge. Two for a braid. And then two for stroke. Eh, I'll upgrade it. There's a land. Pack it up. Dig through time. Uh, Buster Fable? And a land. Alright. Um... We're a little light here, actually, but... You know, they have, they're, like, holding a big thing, and they, like, they sandbag it, they sandbag it and then duress me. Things could turn a little, a little awry, but... And... I think we're... Gonna just... You know, just say, go here. Now let's draw. Shadows, what's that draw? We can draw a response to a dress, or after they dress us. Uh, and I'll hold the land for Fable, let's see Alright, big turn for them. End step Takanuma. It's pretty good. Mills over three. They're going to return the Kunaros, I would assume. The Croxit and Kunaros, yep. Alright, well, don't draw duress, basically, is the, uh, is the equation here. Alright. Stroke it. I should have actually bank mustered first, but I got excited. Alright. Throw a land. Lands, alright. Well, Fable of Fear of Fave save a day. Brought to dissipate and the stone brain. And stone brain's like actively awful against them, unfortunately, but. Uh, sure. Let's draw a card and see what we draw. Farewell. Farewell's pretty interesting. Um, just, like, exiling their graveyard is, like, kind of nice. Yeah, there's some mixture of, oh, let's see, they've already played, they've got one cruelty, two cruelties. There's two cruelties unaccounted for. Uh, Removing a track set or a tolly is worthless because they have three different things. Stone Branch is terrible. Um, we know our top cards destroy evil because that's the card. That, that's our, our original mulligan has come back around again. God, you love playing. I love playing control decks, right? Um, let's attack them. Stone Brain, like, yeah, this card's terrible. Um, when it was only a track this card was good, but. Well, Stone Brain attracts it, though. I think attracts is still, like, the. Like Harvey, I guess they can't cast tracks it though. How many cruelty of gigs? Whatever. Ha! 
<laughs> Damn, we're good. All right, so take that. Let's go scoop. Sure. I mean, <laughs> oh yeah, God, I just love playing control decks. I I can't I can't tell you how good that felt. Whew. Oh no, my lands. Where are my lands? All right, Morgan. Sure. Uh, keep this. I'm gonna ship a strangle. Obviously, it's hard. Our lands are pretty awkward too, honestly. Mm. It's tough because like, strangle plays better with their lands. We go tap land on one, strangle tap land on two. In theory, it's one of the draw. But a braid actually answers bankbusters. So yeah, whatever. Answering bankbusters is pretty important. Disappear, sure. Not a great hand. Kind of rough mulligan here. One tight harvester, so. Wish we had that uh, strangle back a little bit, but sure. If they play a fable here, we're probably dead. That's just like the nature of the format. If you stumble, double tap land on the draw against two drop into fable, you probably can't win, but. What are you gonna do? Need a stumble here, too? No, I'm just gonna say go. We have our own fable. So I honestly don't love casting into uh, their pretty obvious removal spell here. Try and play this on a more annoying turn for them. Here's they go. We'll end up abrade this. Are they reanimator or just mid-range? Or cycle of Landers Lounge, sure. Reanimator, got it. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll kill this. Let's start seeing weird lands. We just know they're playing reanimator. All right, let's pass the turn. Takanuma mill three. They mill an Atraxa and a Shieldred. Oh my god, what a hit! What an unbelievable hit! Four mana to draw Shieldred and then Entomb and Atraxa. That's about as good as it gets for our opponent, unfortunately. Here's Shieldred. Um, I think I like dissipate this and then Fable will leave up the make us appear. Just as we can actually curve out here. Yeah, this sucks a, a lot, honestly. Um, but it is what it is. Play this, play Fable. We are down a number of cards here, sadly. Because of the mulligan and being on the play. They have, like, another shieldred. The problem is we need to save their removal spell. Oh, we're, we're sure left five times to find a, a counter spell off of our, our fable, I think, so. All right, counter miss. They definitely have a, a cruelty in their hand because they have all spells. Let's guard these two. We draw a land land. All right, well, they don't know that, so... Play lands, they go. Prefer if they didn't draw land, so they can have the option to jam. If they jam here, we're dead, obviously. But they don't know that, you know. Fortunately, not, we don't have a card draw spell or anything to like, punish them either, so. They're gonna blow it, oh my god. Brotherhood's end's gone. The problem with playing Emperor is it makes them more inclined to jam, because we're actually applying pressure, too. Play their own Fable. So we'll tank here for a minute. Um. That resolve. Alright, we're gonna... I would love to kill this. We're gonna make a token and pump a token. I want the trade here. I don't want to get mana. Oh wow. Alright, well, here we are, I guess. Um... Alright, well, let's see if Sanctuary Warden can draw us a uh, can draw us a counter spell because we uh, we kinda need it. We're all in. Move a counter from the uh, warden. Warden or yeah, it's a warden, right? Or draw Udawara. Alright. If they have a cruelty, they can cast it now. But our board might actually be able to beat Atraxa. So, if we also have Reflection copy this, they'll take their entire uh, discarding cruelty. They discarded a cruelty, yeah, they definitely have cruelty. So, 
If, our, if we can get to keep our reflection alive, uh, they can't find a cut down. You know what? I think I punted. I should have put the plus and plus one counter on the reflection to play around cut down in this exact scenario. I screwed up. They find cut down. Yeah, we punted. Because if we get to keep the reflection and then copy the warden and you get like two more triggers off the warden, um, I think we can outgrind them here. But I didn't do that. Now they just go attack, make a treasure, cut down reflection. And yeah, I think I screwed up. Okay, that's fun. Deck's hard. Yep, they go cut down. They go attack. We block. We get to Odawar the Atraxa and attack for a bunch. Yeah. Yep, we screwed up. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can't make it work. We can still win this game, honestly. I think we're in pretty decent shape, all things are considered. We drop Flame Bless Bolt. We go to War of the Atraxa. Attack for a bunch. We drop a bunch of cards. We get 5, 10, six. Attack for actually one short. All right, it's, it's 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that's, uh, that's 12. Plus onto the... Uh, wow. Yeah, I mean, if they don't have anything else there, like, we actually have a pretty good chance. So, that was a sick game. Uh, so, never punished, etc., etc. Um, we're going to bring in Stroke, Stroke, Negate, uh, Destroy Evil. Sure, Populate, out. Flame Bless Bolt, out. Um, I think the Wandering Mind can go. I guess, like, DK digging for a character balls and battle keep it in. This card's fine. Farewell. Um, fare thee well. Get how much duress is obviously. Bankbuster fires. His strangles unnecessary. Um, do I want this Sahili filigree master? I don't think so. Uh, Archangel of Wrath, Flameless Bolt, Obliterating Bolt. They did two farewells. Let's try this. Stone Brain is a. Probably should have made the deck. That was pretty good. Honestly, Mulligan that game, too. Uh, it's good. It's a little, uh, light on interaction. We can. Get there, but if they have a heavy duress hand, this hand's really good. We should have like threats up the curve, which is good, so. Storm Carve Coast, go. You love me some spell pierces. It's a mana for a harvester, so pretty ideal. That's definitely they, they want to get the board against us pretty uh, early. Draw a deluge, we're gonna bust. Definitely a game where I wouldn't mind trading my goblin token with their harvester. If they go land fable again here, it's pretty bad for us, but you know, it's just the the nature of things. Ooh. Graveyard Trespasser. That is very good against our deluges. Um, also makes me wish I kept my Wraths in a little bit, but sure. We're going to land Fable here. Deluge, definitely less exciting. And I think, given the option, we're just gonna block the Harvester. We're gonna blood away a Tali, sure. Yeah, we might have some sort of graveyard hate in our sideboard. You know, just like some sort of like Hirsch, something like that. There's a lot of these graveyard decks floating around. Think this game is a problem, honestly, uh, with no Wraths in our deck aside from Farewell. And the rest. Wow, so a heater of a hand for our opponent here. Take the negate if they have a, uh, a saga. We're in big doo doo. We'll loot away Destroy Evil and probably a Deluge. Take the negate, sure. We go coast. Let's loot away the Destroy Evil. And honestly, just the coast, I think, now. Draw. 
All right, so that's step one. We can stop the cruelty. The problem is we also need to stop not dying, too. This is going to flip now, also. Um, and I think we're just going to die to the creatures, honestly. It kind of sucks, but... Ghost and Knight. Not going to camp main phase of Deluge, obviously, so... Yeah, awkward game. Um, might need to reevaluate sideboarding for game three. Might need to leave in some of our, uh, our wraths. I don't know. Maybe just leave in some spot removal. Yeah, but we have the braids and stuff too, so. I think just like, you know, we mulled into a kind of an awkward hand. They, they curved out pretty well. Down to four. Push shoulder too. Just have it all. Do it. Do it. You won't. The rest again? Mm. Classic. Classic magic card, that duress. Not a classic art, obviously, but... Alright, so, end step, cast Deluge. Wandering Emperor, Spell Pierce, Disdainful Stroke, Planes. Um, I mean, Spell Pierce plays, I mean, we, 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 we can Emperor, and then also... Um, Spell Pierce, if they have a, a thing... We're going to flip our Fable and have a 2-2 a in play, which is kind of sweet. Which can block, too. Obviously, we need a land, though, also. I'm going to take these two. Try to draw a land. Let's draw a land. All right. We'll flip this thing. We might be able to steal this one back, folks. Um, play land. Say go. Uh, Edict, and I lose one. Sacrifice is a creature or a planeswalker. Man, if I had main phase, he'd be fine here. Um, okay. So we just Emperor, make a token, crew, sack the token. Nah, we still lie, though, because they, they attack and they, we lose one to the, uh, the graveyard glutton. Uh, yeah, they got us. They got us here. Uh, close, though. I think if I had maybe Emperor to my own turn, we probably would have won this game. Yeah, I was, it's, better, it's better against Duress, too. I think I punted. I think I should have put Emperor to, Emperor to my own turn. Okay, that's fine. Game three. Pretty good rollout. We had a good chance to win, which is awesome. That's all you can ask for, so. So... We have a Braid, a Braid, Fire. Also on the draw. I think this is fine. I don't think we need to have a... Our, a kill spell specifically for uh, Trespasser. And we're also just on the draw, on the play now, too. This is fine. I think we, we were actually very close to winning that game. Um, if I had played the the Emperor at the proper time, I played on my turn. I exile their thing, discard a card, gain two. And then I have a Spell Pierce up. They go for a big spell. I have a 2-2 two -two block the 3-2. And if they eat me, I just sack, I just sack the, uh, the Wandering Emperor. So we're actually in like great shape. So I think I think I punched that game. No! Alright, Mulligan. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna keep. We're not really happy about it, but sure. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna this destroy evil. I don't even have double, double, double blue either. Ooh, this hand's ugly. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna destroy evil. They'd arrest me here, we're, we're probably dead. <laughs> and the thought on turn one means tap lander duress. Yep, they're gonna duress us. All right, well, we got a real hard one to work through here, folks. On the mulligan, on the duress again, and our hand is bad. Um, take the abrade. All right, sure. Just a spell pierce and a chair. All right, that's pretty good, honestly. Sure. Uh, let's bust it up. If they have an abrade here, it's terrible for us, but they just don't. They don't. That's awesome. So you're telling me there's a chance. It's funny how a spell pierce is making our, our hand, like, so smooth. We can just, like, play tap land, draw for two, and still spell pierce. Land four. 
her own bank buster. Ooh, that's awkward. All right. Uh, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Or use their braid too. That's all right. Man, it's a happy draw. That's all right too. So we just go land fable. Draw and loot a bunch. It's also a post-board game, so they're less likely to have a kill spell for the goblin, which is very good for us. The Buster Wars commence. Still feel pretty behind, but I do feel like I'm in this game, so that's kind of a cool feeling. Invasion of Asgall. ETP sacrifice a creature or planeswalker, and I lose one life. Uh, that is okay. You've invaded my Asgol. Flips into a Ashen Reaper, which is not particularly threatening. It's just a 2 1. Some light abilities. Here's a Harvester. Sure. Alright, so. Light and Crew. Alright, yeah, duh. That's pretty good. Alright, well, it's farewell time, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Defense. Blood discarding tracks. That one farewell, please. Oh, that pumps that thing too. That's cute. All right, draw. That's not farewell. Get our main phase. Discarding coast and forge. Farewell. That is, that's also not farewell. Uh, that's not much of anything actually. All right, so I mean, we want to be able to leave up. Um, draw and draw counter. We still have, we still spell beers, so it's quite fable. Second fable. Say go. The four toughness battles are pretty good bankbuster decks. Bankbuster just sits there and can just come out of nowhere and deal four to it. Kind of weird, honestly. This card's like not great against us. It's definitely good on that one particular turn. I think I like a block here. She old red. Please draw farewell. Always super interesting games, you know? All right, Fable, help me out. We're looking for some... Uh some good storage in this fable. Uh, lands ain't it. Flip the saga. Start two. Draw. That's pretty good. We like that. Um, I was saying it's menace too. It's really annoying. We can again do it, but then I can't dissipate. Got spell pierce. I think we're just taking a hit off this thing. They're just playing a land too, honestly. Next turn we have Wandering Mind plus Reflection if I don't kill this, which is pretty cool, so. Play land. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta leave, leave, gotta leave that up, so let's play land. We're not, we're not gonna get it, let's just take it out.
Still a dog here, I think. Still, you know, down a number of cards from a really rancid opening hand, but we're in the game. Can't ask for more, honestly. Draw cards, sure. They have six cards in their hand. Tons of mana. Spell Pierce is uh, obviously not looking too exciting. The turn one duress against the Spell Pierce is pretty awkward because they see it and they just play the game around it. Our hand wasn't good enough to like make them play into stuff, so. Here comes the Reaper. Uh, yep. No blocks. Down 12. Another Shieldred. We gotta dissipate here. We'll dissipate, untap, Wandering Mind, and then copy it. Which is pretty good, actually. We save a lot. We have a ton of looks at a counter spell. I think it might actually be okay here. I should they cut down. Something like that, we get Spell Pierce it, or go land, go for the throat. No. Alright. Um, we're gonna untap. It's Wandering Mind time. Top cards. We see Negate, Emperor, Fires. Those are all very exciting cards, but the Negate's the most important one, I think, to get Negate. If I was that, I can just cast big things, too, but I have to make a Spear. All right, let's copy this right now. Okay. Um... They have seven mana, eight mana. We have Make the Spear, which is good. Uh, Wandering Emperor might be somewhat necessary for. We have one, two, three, four, five. We can double the eight, honestly. And then we just send. So I grant you to fire with... I'm sorry, is that only one mana open? Is that the amount of mana you have? It's just one, right? I just want to check sure and make sure it's one. Just, you know, because it's just if it's two, we have an issue. But if it's one, it's like kind of okay. So it's like fine, you know, not big of a deal. I just wanted to, I just wanted to know. I was just asking, you know. I want to make sure we keep it a clear game state. No issues. Just one. One, one mana. Game's over, folks. He's really good. That was the uh, that was the key turn. That was the point where everything turns. So now we untap with more. We have double wandering mind copies. Negate, negate, pierce. We need to find us another, another stroke effect to stop the next tracks or whatever. But we have a thousand looks now, so um, it's not over yet. But it's you know we're looking really good. Top six. There's stroke. Awesome. Farewell. Not interested. Just take a stroke. And then I would like a way to deal with this Ashen Reaper. Now, I think we want to leave back this Wandering Mind. So we can double block this with the Goblin and the Mind. Yeah. Uh, let's see, actually. Because the thing is, if they go... They just attack, and I go to make a copy of the thing and double block, and then they duress me, and then cast Atraxa. I guess I can always spell Bears to duress, so they can't, they can't do that. Go for the Wandering Mind. Um, I'm going to negate this. This is our engine, honestly, and I have spell Bears and Stroke still, too, so... Counters, yes. I don't think they can. I think this is good here. Disappear. Tacit on top. 
talking about. God, what a match. What a match. I had to two my own horn or nothing, but holy crap, that was a match of Magic the Gathering. Woo! Oh, I love playing control decks. Just feeling alive. Just mulligan every game doesn't matter. Just playing these control decks makes me feel so good. Alright, mulligan. Uh, sure. This is fine. Alright. I mean, we got a buster. Got some counter spells. We're on the draw. Things can definitely go wrong here, but... Got a pretty cool yard. So we get a mono white splash red control deck, which should be pretty good for us, honestly, I would think. Obviously, we need to draw some spells, but... Uh, or lands, I mean. But mono white's just like, you know... A lot of controlly creature cards. We're not playing the creatures, and then um, we have counter spells, and they don't, which is great. Uh, obviously, we have a we have a Buster here, and if they destroy it, we're in big trouble. They have a Lorraine or something like that. But there's all Fable here. It's kind of nasty too, actually. There's probably an argument for just holding up one of these, actually, and not playing Buster. Without a, a fourth land, though, it's a little suspect. They're gonna Guardian and draw. All right, sure. All right. Get another, uh, get another planes out of a deck. Sure. Right. Just start doing our control thing. You know, just sit back and draw some cards, take some hits. And go from there. Take, uh, take four. Red, white, companion. That's fun. Four minutes. All right, yeah, do the thing. You sure? Got some all ones. It's funny how a fable as a two-two blocker would be pretty good here, but if you can just draw like a braid to kill this thing, pretty good. Emperor is not bad either, actually. That's pretty good. Let's play lands, there you go. So Emperor exile this and make it 2 2 is pretty awesome. They'll probably start casting jamming spells now because they're applying some pressure too. So, no blocks. Wow, really? Should give us the whole turn? They might have their own Emperor, obviously, but pretty happy about this. Minus here. I'm going to end it. Main deck Surge of Salvation. That's the world we're living in right now? Uh, Alright. That's disgusting. Alright. Play land. Um, I think we're probably dead now. That was probably the, uh, the piece they needed. Just gonna make a 2-2... I could like wandering. I could like wander mine, like put a counter on the wandering mine, but they'd have, they'd obviously have a bunch of kill spells in their deck. So I don't really love that. You just make a 2 2 and play wandering mind. Only have one non pain blue, too. Ugh. Strangle a braid deluge. Alright, I like strangle. Make it 2-2. Two, two. Mm -hmm. Leave counter spell mana up. Just say go. Do the talking. Oh, man. A tough game. Main deck surge salvation. When I mean, you know someone's gotten Invoke Despaired one too many times. Ossification. On a planes. That's going to resolve. Right. Draw a card, take a hit, trade here, take five, strangle this on our turn, try and draw something uh some, something nice here. <laughs> sure. I guess drawing a, a wrath would be pretty great here. If I draw a land and a wrath, and I can wrath and also counter. Alright, yeah, sure. Very silly game. Opponent just playing a bunch of 1-1s, one but we uh, we stumbled too much and we're on the draw. Let's 
Stumble Mulligan on the draw. All right, so. All right. I mean, the problem is that we're going to play this farewell. They're going to play something really nasty. But uh, I guess it is, is what it is, right? Other options are, what, four? It's pretty hard to cast farewell and have counterspell up. So, what's the worst thing that could happen? They resolve, like... Well, I guess Atali would be the, 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 the definitely worst thing. Uh, that would be pretty hard to win. If I strangle here, Buster makes a token also, which is kind of cool. I can actually play a new Buster. Buster make a token, strangle, and still have the treasure and the land up for... That's pretty good, actually. So, let's just draw. The populate's pretty good too, actually. Let's go get the card for next turn. That's, that's great, actually. So let's go this. Play a new Buster. Leaving up a, uh, a blue, please. It doesn't matter, I guess, but. Play a new Buster. And say go. Crew, block one. Really living on the edge here, but. They can, like, post-combat kill the buster, but whatever. Ooh, wow, Ganjo, nasty. All right, that's fun. That hurts, has a full buster, but... Down to two. Play a Fable. Um, I mean, we're just going to cast a Populate anyway. This does improve their hand a lot, so yes, it's fine. Draw make disappear. Okay. Uh, so we're going to depopulate Wrath everything. They have two cards left. They also have this Reliquary. They're going to be able to loot. I think we might have turned this one around also, honestly. One more land. We can Sanctuary War with the Counter Cell back up, which is cool. Let's depopulate. So you go. Yeah. All right. Dubs make disappear. The good news is if they sack their land to draw... We get to have better make disappears, which is cool. Also plays all with a token from Sanctuary Warden. Trying, folks. Wedding announcement. That's interesting. Um, obviously we can farewell away the fable and the announcement, which is pretty sweet. We need to draw land for that. Uh. But if I negate this here, it definitely opens the door for some bad things. We might, or two, we might end up in a spot where we have to play Warden and half to draw land off of it. I think this is fine. Maybe I'm crazy, but... Oh my god, alright, sweet. Alright, that's, that's even better for us, so sure. All right, well, I'd like to draw land. We didn't draw land. Shit. I have no choice now. If, they, if their last card's a Tali, and then so be it. We'll have to fight through it. Um, we got a farewell enchantment creature graveyard. I'm just hoping I don't have a, a Tali. Enchantment creature graveyard. Leave the artifacts, obviously. All right. Is the last card a Tali? I hope not. I really hope not. Land. Nothing. Turn the corner again. God, this is so awesome. All right. Um. Land warden. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. All right. Um. We want some counter spells. We're going to want... I think the Healy's pretty good here. Uh, destroy evil like that. Farewell. I think three. I think two and two is fine. Uh, I would say we don't want Flame Blast Bolt. I would say Strangle is also not really necessary. Honestly, the Abrades aren't even that good. Um, 
Deluge, Dissipate, Destroy Evil. I think Spellbears and Madras is probably just fine. Just counters all their important stuff pretty cleanly. Uh, Disappear, Negate, Stroke, Abrade. They don't play that many things you actually want to Abrade. Although, case killing a Fable token is pretty important. Uh, it just sucks. On the draw, it's Planeswalker, whatever. Um, I've got two more cards here, too. Destroy Evil for a wedding announcement and Fable. Uh, like Fires and Kill Planeswalkers. Also, Bank, Draco's Bank Buster. On the draw. The populate's so weird because, like, I don't really want a Wrath against them, but they do put a lot of, like, crappy moments in play that we want to get rid of. Eh, let's just bring these out. Let's see, what, let's see what it's like with, with these out not in the deck. Maybe Wander Mine's also not... I'm just fine that game. Let's try this. I'm honestly not sure. Like, the Wraths are not exciting against them. Like, that game, if they didn't have the 3-3 Flyer, the Wrath wouldn't really be necessary because the Womans would not, would not have done enough enough damage. In fact, they went just, like, Creature and a 3-drop. They kind of, like, curved out on us a little bit. <laughs> Everything was a one land hand. 27 lands of a deck. All right. Um, the story of a day is mulligan to six every game was have a one lander and then somehow make a miraculous comeback. That's just the the theme of the day. This hand's also bad. Uh, sure. There you go, land. And companion. Sure. Like, we ain't dying to a single companion, you know? That's fine. They get a card. We braid it. We have bigger fish to fry, I think. Drew land. That's cool. It's not, a, it's not a white land for this, but, you know, we'll get there when we get there, I guess. In for one. Sure. Without the 3-3 in play, like, this is not enough of a clock to pressure us. Like, last game, it was. They attacked the 4 every turn. 2 every turn is totally fine. Buster. Alright, so we're going to bust here because we want to be able to counter or negate. And if they... I want to spend the mana and play a spell. If I if they play a spell and I negate it, I can't... I waste 2 mana because I can't deluge, so... Pretty easy buster here, I think. You got me again. What could I say? You got me again. Guardian of Gear for too powerful. No braid. Emperor to eat the Guardian's pretty good too. Because they're obviously in a spot where they can't really like, they don't want to play my counter spells, but like, they don't try and apply enough pressure. And I get to, if they don't play a spell, I just, I just Emperor. If I do play a spell, I just counter it and draw another card. We're at 16, we got plenty of life, so. Damn. Alright, sure. So we're gonna draw a card. We're gonna draw a land. I'm just gonna make disappear here. Means their hands probably pretty jammed up, uh, which is not ideal. It's fine. They lands, they go. Now we have counter plus emperor. And if they, if it's a creature, we can deluge for a farewell. Hmm. I want to guess Deluge. Is 
Sarah Paragon with a three less graveyard. Hmm. Only have two farewells. I'm not. I'm regretting taking the rats out of a deck, honestly. I think that the uh, even though the creatures are bad, like having a way to sweep them is pretty important. Um, if I had two rats and two farewells here, I would happily with this resolve. Obviously, I don't have a counter right I can, I can use right now anyway, but um, they have they can go land gear per. And we're just fishing for a wrath, I guess. This is fine, yeah, sure. They have a land also. They have to have a land, right? They just keep farm handing over and over again. Alright. Alright, yeah, I mean, we gotta find a uh, a wrath now. I think I boarded badly. Alright, well, we got a lot of looks. We got four deep, and then another card, and then a card for turn. Um, so let's draw off this. Draw land. Cast a deluge. We don't find the wrath. We find another deluge. Uh, okay. We just play our own warden here, honestly. Like, we just go warden. Like, I mean, they have they have an ossification or something like that. It's pretty bad. We just, we just die, I guess. Yeah, we gotta just play, play land. We have seven cards in hand. We just say go. We have crew bank buster to block one of these, and then emperor to exile this. We take seven and go to one, and then we have another deluge to look for more wraths. So it's fine. Just say go. Um, maybe I got punished for not emperoring earlier. I cast a deluge on a turn. I could have just played an emperor and exiled the guardian. I took a lot more damage because of that. Maybe by just hello, uh, Elish Norn, mother of machines. A permanent would ETB and trigger an ability. It triggers twice. And my things don't trigger ETBs. Okay. That doesn't really change our plan of trying to find a wrath. So, sure. Okay. Oh, they can flip the farm edge. Got it. Okay. Sure. That's not even good, though, so... Block here. Play Wandering Emperor. I hope you're ready to lose. Okay. Do they have another freaking Surge Salvation? <laughs> no. Okay. Up to eight, My down to one. Is final. Just the old 20 to one. Another companion draw two. All right, yeah, I mean, it's just like we find farewell or not, it's the question. All right, uh, here we go. Deluge again, digging deep. No farewell. Uh, Wander Mind cannot find farewell. Find something, maybe. All right. Uh, sure. And this turns off the ETB on the... This. I think they got us. We went many, many, many cards deep. Yeah, so just my... Totally my my bad for not having a Wrath in the deck. If I if, if obviously we draw Wrath, the game's totally over. So, um... Yeah, blocker, blocker. Can't... This isn't trigger. Odawara, bounce one. Make a token, block. I guess wander your mind, see what happens, sure. Oh, that's an enemy, that doesn't work either. Damn it, Elish Norn! Um, we can't bounce Elish Norn and then wander your mind and then make a token. 
we need to draw like haunt. So we we bounce Elishnorn, play Wandering Mind, hit str I don't know Strangle either. Uh looking for a way out, I don't see it. I can't find it. Alright, that's okay. Game three. Uh again, just bad sideboarding on my part, I think. They're also a little more creature than I thought they would be, so. Uh let's bring in these two depopulate. And they're on the play, it's even more awkward because like on the play it's even less necessary, but whatever. Um Fires of Bree. What do we cut though? Like Sanctuary Warden. Sanctuary Warden's pretty bad against them, but like we need a way to win, you know? <laughs> like uh Fable dissipate, stroke, make disappear, negate, spell pierce. Spell pierce is still they're obviously playing four wedding announcements and four fables, like for sure. So spell pierce is still pretty exciting. I think. Like Fires a braid, bank buster. What do we cut? It is destroyable. Destroyable basically it's, it's Elishnorn, I guess. But like that's kind of one of those. And it hits the wedding announcements and things, but let's shave one of these. No, let's shave. Let's just do Let's do one to populate. Sure. I'm not sure. We're on the play. I really don't know, honestly. I'm, I'm really... Their deck's a little different than the other Mono White decks, so, like, it's hard to exactly parse what we want. Just keep seven, that'd be cool. Nope, just kidding. Never, never keep seven. All right, so, Mulligan into... Sure. It does feel like we started every game this entire set with uh, with six cards, but we're winning, so... All right, bin that. We are overly reliant on our Bank Buster. As we often are on six cards, but you know, it's fine. They're at a courtyard. Play Bank Buster and say, yep. If they have a, uh, a Loran or an Abrade or something, we are in some big trouble, but sure. Ah, that makes, that makes it better. We drew a Deluge, so. Alright. And they play a 1 1. Their own Bank Buster, sure. I mean, if you want to get a Buster Battle, I think I'm cool with that, honestly. Land. God damn it. Alright, sure. Alright. That, that hurts pretty badly, actually, on our mulligan. Alright, just gotta keep grinding. Oh, that's a good draw. Alright, never mind. We're good. Good rips. So many busters. Um, it's honestly kind of hard to use two busters. So you don't often have the mana to use it all. So like, I think we're just gonna let this resolve. All right, draw. The Wandering Mind. Minds do tend to wander sometimes. Alright. Let's just play Wandering Mind. Leave up Negate Buster Draw. Interesting. Well, they're fussing with their busters. Maybe we just want to try and get our fable online. We have extra lands in our hand too. Strokes also pretty appealing though. Second counter spell. Does reveal it to them though. Like sanctuary ward. Next we have our farewells and stuff, right? Let's get the fable going. All right. So they go. They draw. They might Loran both players draw. Be a little weird, I think. We would honestly be cool with that. I think that we set up a better end game than they do because we can play the big spells that they plow, but also have two mana counter spells up too. So ideally, we're playing farewell with two mana up. That's kind of like the the goal. Got a block here. 
Ooh, that hurts. Uh, yep, that's bad. That's not good. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. No crew and attack. It's pretty weird, for sure. Draw a card. I got two cards off of it. There's farewell. Uh, I think we're just jamming the farewell here, honestly. That knocks a lot of cards off these busters, and then we just can, yeah, let's deal with the next thing when it comes. Sure. All right, farewell for everything. I just want to get the graveyard too. That's four cards that don't get off busters. They untap. Like, the worst thing they can do here is untap and slam. Probably a Planeswalker, I guess. Like, Eternal Wanderer. Um, they have a tap land. Sweet. But with a bunch of, you know, a bunch of time to draw stuff in our hand, I think it's pretty fine. So, announcement. That's good. It's fine. It's a thing. That's the best they can do. I think this game's over. So, we're going to play Fable. And land for Deluge. Paragon with a courtyard in the graveyard. You got me. You got your value, friend. You did it. Get that land value. Card draw, sure. Let's discard Fable Land. I should discard a land, actually. We actually want to make all of our land drops. So usually I'm pretty aggro with Fable. I discard a land, so we usually just draw one. But we actually want to make sure we're making our land drops. We do not want to miss a land drop this turn. So let's dump this extra Fable and draw another Deluge. All right, we are cranking it now. Four, eight. Eight mana. Enough to deluge. Okay. Um, I think we attack, actually, because I want the treasure. I want to be able to flashback deluge, but also be able to cast the counter spell this turn. Although, Make Disappear is going a little dead. And they're probably not going to play much, because I have this farewell in my hand now that they know about. Oh, they don't know, actually, they don't know about it, because it's deluge, duh. Uh, it's not Wandering Mind. Um... Yeah. I wonder what they would do. They might just not block because they're scared of me having an abrade or something, too. Just the only downside here is we lose a creature to sacrifice to make a spear. They just snap block, sure. I respect it. So they go. Reliquary. Attack for this. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good for us. They draw two, but whatever. Dig through time. Disdainful stroke. I actually kind of want to land here, so I can go farewell. Actually, I have the mana to do that anyway. Let's take the warden. Yeah, let's take the warden. Let's see. Let's not draw. Let's not draw the land. Farewell here on everything, leaving up two mana. 
Oh, actually, I, I, I miscounted, actually. I haven't amended everything, so... If five cards in hand... What if I were to Warden here? Because I can't, like, remove all my win conditions. I warn here and try and buy some more time and make them make their make their wrath even nastier. I'm also threatening for reflection plus warden too, which is pretty sick. Also, I'll just do that actually. I don't even need farewell. Play warden. Warden plus reflection is like insane. So I shouldn't have drawn. It was stupid. Uh, I guess I can draw a land, but all right. Let's discard. Uh, yeah, that was dumb. Scar to make disappear. They get some value off their land. They have seven cards in their hand. Play Elish Norn, Mother of Machines. That does stop my my combo here. I think we stroke this. Companion, make a doggo, sure. Sure. Yeah, I think we're I think we're golden here, folks. We just have like Warden plus Reflection up, two counter spells in hand, a thousand card, card draw spells in hand, another Warden, a Farewell, and they, so they have to like really go big to beat this. We just Farewell them again. How many Ellis Storms do they play? Jeez. Uh, all right. Like, what do I have? One Destroy Evil in my deck? Let me just Deluge response to this and see what we draw. This turning off the warden is pretty annoying. Let's get a stroke. We can make a spirit. Let's just guess the image. Dissipate. Upgrade. Land. Okay, sure. I'm going to counter it again. I guess if the companion dies, they just draw, they draw a card off of it, right? So I shouldn't block that, actually. I'll block. Okay. Take four. You draw another card. Sources. All right, uh, <laughs> could allow for a block and then a braid, but 
like a surge salvation. That's pretty funny. I'm just gonna indicate that we have just have so many cards in our hand that like it's just comical, you know. Whatever, sure. Counter this. If it didn't give it uh, hexproof, and I could have, I could have just countered it. I could have let them block and then abrade it. Also, I would have done that, but. I'm just gonna say go. Now, now you have seven cards and now we'll just say go. They do have two three threes, I guess, but that's fine. We crew block one. Yeah, let's just say go. Sanctuary warden of their own. Um This is going to come down to, like, when do we want to actually use our farewell. These games are hard. Sorry, folks. Uh, we only have so many counter spells. We can't just keep countering these things one at a time. Alright, that's fun. I think it's farewell time. Up. Just still very comical. Um, I mean, the Emperor. They attack, I just Emperor it. Copy this also in their turn. I'm just going to say go and discard this Abrade. Storn. That's fine. Uh, I guess I'll respond by copy, making copy of this. Sure. Nice, etc. We're just gonna feral the, sh the crap out of them, right? Um. Does it trigger twice? Oh, it's not an oh, ATP, right? Okay. Land, farewell, fable. So we're going to end step dealers on a graveyard, too. They're going to attack, sure. Draw a card. Crazy game, honestly. You can write a book about this game. Alright, so end step, and we're gonna deluge. I'm not gonna bust or draw for too many cards in our hand. That's pretty bad, actually. Um take spell pierce land. Uh untap. We're going to just attack for 10 in the air, and then we'll farewell. It's not going to do it.
everything but artifacts. It's all gone. And then we just say go. So I want to leave with two counter spells. We'll discard. Sure, we'll discard land spell pierce, I guess. Alright. I mean, it feels like a hard lock to me, but we'll see. Lord of the Third Path. Just leave my stuff alone. That's fine, whatever. Um, if I draw, I can't Emperor. Sure, whatever. It's fine. Wedding announcement. That's also just doesn't seem that impactful. Uh, sure. Farm and fine. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I will protect my keep watch for intruders. We greet our enemies. I think we're pretty wrapped up here with double counter spell in hand, so. Oh, God. actually, I'm just... all right, that's fun. I miscounted my lands. I can't play both counter spells, but I think we'll probably be alright. I think that was our scry bottom from our uh, from our <laughs> from our initial opening hand. It all comes first full circle, folks. Each player draws. Alright, I have twenty cards in my deck, sure. Guardian would flicker the Loran and destroy my Fable. It does block for a turn. That's fine. I'm gonna be super stingy here with this counter spell. Like, sure. Farm can flip too, but like whatever, it's fine. This would be a 3 3. Make a token. Untap. We have 19 cards left. Play Deluge. Stroke Emperor. Untap. Destroy Evil. And. Uh, Alright, let's uh, put a counter here. Remember your training. Attack with everything. We'll remove the counter because it's going to go away anyway. Make a treasure. We're going to draw in response. We're just going to destroy evil this. Sorry, enchantment. They don't draw a card. Comes a point in every control player's life where when they just got it all, you know, just gotta close the game out, just gotta wrap things up here. Closing time. They do uh, gain some life off that, which is cute. They can flip the farm hand. This is first strike though. Probably shouldn't block that one. Uh, gonna try and gain the life. I mean, they're just gonna die to a Ganjo. That's cool too, I guess. Thank you. 
They flip it, we Ganjo, and they don't gain any life, and they just die. So, sure. I think we were uh, pretty locked up here, so. All right. Uh, those are some long, crazy games, let me tell you. But uh, that was pretty cool. Well, folks, I got to tell you, uh, I've been pretty exhausted this week. Um, I streamed for like 50 hours this week, aside from doing a bunch of other content stuff as well. And uh, this is the very, this is the last piece of, of uh, content I'm recording before I leave for my trip. And I feel like a new man. I feel invigorated. I feel alive again. Uh, the weariness is gone. Uh, three unbelievable control matchups in a row. Uh, super insane comebacks. We were on six cards like every game. Uh, though those matches, so usually for the cool stuff videos, you know, I usually play like between three and five matches and take the best three. Uh, because you know, it happens. The player mulligans a million times, or what, the games aren't exciting. It happens, you know, whatever. I want to keep it interesting. And uh, that was just the three matches that I played, unedited, in order. Uh, only played three. Just a, a super awesome hour and a half long set of control matchups, insane comebacks. Uh, this thing is sweet. I'm gonna. I know that the the CFB guys aren't super high on the deck, um, and it'd be really really hard not to just play the team deck because they're the best Magic players in the world. I probably just play whatever deck they want to play. Uh, but this deck is pretty sweet. I'm gonna give a little extra push for this deck because I really really like this deck a lot. And this list is like a little out of date anyway. Uh, so. Oh boy, I love it. Good stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Drew Davis for CoolStuffInc.com. Hopefully I won the Pro Tour playing Dusk Control. Uh, but <laughs> we'll see. All right, thanks for watching, folks. See you next week. Have a good one.